So I want to show you where some things are in the studio. We've got a bunch of drawers here that have different texture tools that we can use for decorating thrown or hand-built pieces. In this top drawer here, we of course have scoring tools, and we've got at least three different kinds of scoring tools. We've got the scoring ribs, which can be used for quickly scoring up a section. The, score, the wooden scoring tools do a similar thing. Those are kept on the side here. We have some of these scoring feather tools um, that can be used for smaller details. Um, those go in the little spoon section here. And then we also have a few odds and ends sometimes, depending on what gets put away. There's this DM scoring tool, um, and other scoring tools can get put here as well. In the back end, we have some ribs that have texture. Some of these can be used for scoring as well, but these could also be used for dragging down the side of a pot, which I'll show you right here. So if I want uh, an irregular texture like that, I can score or I can drag the tool down the side there. Other things we have in here, we have a whole variety, really a quite a few, of these small uh, loop tools. So these kinds of tools, I'm just going to pick up a couple so you can see. We've got um, round and, and more pointed tools, and these can be used for carving decorations, uh, carving designs in. And one of the nice things about this is different sizes and different shapes make different kind of marks. With the uh, narrow one, I can do a small mark that gets bigger, deeper, shallower. Um, with round ones, of course, I can cut out circles, and you can even do something like that to get a texture carved in that way. All sorts of different small loop tools are over here. The large loop tools are in the throwing drawers, and you can use those as well for larger carving. Um, this section here has ball styluses. And ball styluses are good for two kinds of things, depending on what you've got. Um, with a large ball stylus, you can simply create a texture by pushing in over and over again. And this texture is fairly subtle on the camera, um, or, or on the, the uh, viewing on the camera, but also viewing on the uh, leather hard clay. Um, it'll be more obvious when we put a glaze in there to highlight that texture. The real small ball styluses can also be used for making holes, but they can also be used for drawing. And this kind of drawing with a ball stylus like this can be used for transferring an image, but also for just freehand drawing, and it makes a large, a slightly larger, cleaner line than using a needle tool. The next set of tools here, all of these guys here, a whole bunch of different variety of things, these are all different carving, modeling, and drawing tools. And we've kind of put them all together here because uh, there's odds and ends. They have different sorts of, of uh, uses. You can press them into the clay. You can drag them into the clay. Um, but if you were modeling a sculpture, some of these are useful uh, for some of the details. You might push this in around the eye or drag this in to show like hair in an eyebrow or something like that. Whole variety of those here, to several different brands. And then over here on the side, we have our... Uh, paring knives and our fettling knives, which of course you can use for cutting uh, slabs, you can use for cutting decorations, you can cut a design in the top of your, your piece, whatever it is. Alright, so that's the top drawer, and it'd be helpful if everything got put away where it came from, or where it was supposed to come from. Down here we have things like hole cutters, and for the most part we have different types of hole cutters here. Uh, I'm going to grab a couple of different kinds here and show them a little bit closer up. We have these short ones with a spring in them, we have the handheld ones with a handle, and then we have these all metal ones. Any of the hole cutters are used for the same general kind of thing. If I want to cut a hole in my clay, I use a hole cutter. A uh, hole punch, you might also call it. Uh, we have different sizes of circular ones. The, uh, the ones without a handle can give you uh, partial or full triangle cuts. So if you take something like that and you press it in, uh, see how the, the tool kind of presses it in, it can get a little bit of light or even just a little bit of texture showing through. You can also match up the two sides and do a diamond cutout um, in there. Um, there's also rulers down here, shrinkage ruler, which we can use later on, and just a few odds and ends that you might use for uh, burnishing, carving, modeling, those sorts of things. All right. Uh, there are other drawers with other tools in the studio, um, but these ones have the most kind of variety of different types of things in one drawer. Thanks.